Hey and welcome to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm going to show you how to make a Russian Spring Punch. Before I get started, I would give a little reminder for those who haven't seen, I'm running a competition to give away this Guide to Gin uh, Cocktail Book by The Curious Bartender. I will leave a link to that up here as well as in the description below. My new DJI Osmo has arrived. I haven't actually had a chance to play around with it yet, so I'm going to leave it out for this video until we actually sort of have a bit of a play. Uh, but I'll set that aside. So the Russian Spring Punch is created by Dick Bradsell. It comes from the 1980s, so therefore I kind of thought it would be most suited to use like a, an 80s style um, tropical cocktail glass. Thought it was quite fitting. Uh, so apparently he called it a Russian Spring Punch because vodka, Russian, uh, and then spring, it's a good drink with the raspberries to drink during spring. And it follows the same format as a punch. So that being uh, one part sweet, two parts sour, three parts strong, and four parts weak. But the difference being weak usually is either water, soda, seltzer, or juice. And in this case, it's a sparkling or a champagne. So it's punch in style, but it's a little bit stronger than that. So um, yeah, let's get going. Let's get mixing. Uh, and pick your personal favorite for your, for your vodka. I'm using kettle one today and measure up 45 mil, one and a half ounces. Shake and cocktail, add that straight into the Boston glass or your, or your tin. And your framboise, which is a raspberry liqueur. So 15 mil, quarter ounce. Followed by cassis, a black currant liqueur. Same measurement, 15 mil, half an ounce. Then fresh lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce. 22.5 mil. And 15 mil of sugar, half an ounce. Of your simple syrup. I should have put this in first so I didn't make a splat, like a, make a bit of a mess, but add a, a couple of spoonfuls of raspberries. Raspberries are really expensive at the moment here, so I, I just had a packet of frozen raspberries in the freezer and I've decided to use that. I prefer to use fresh, but the price they are now, I'm, heck, I'm using frozen. Uh, so food cocktail shake with ice and give it a good shake before straining into your glass of ice. Food cocktail glass with ice. And then add your champagne or your sparkling, whatever you decide to use, into the cocktail shaker. As I've said in the past, I prefer to add it into here and then you can sort of give it a light stir. The sparkling's gonna be integrated with the, the rest of the drink and strain into that glass. If you want, you can double, double strain get rid of all those uh, raspberry chunks, but I think that's a welcome addition to the drink. And frozen raspberries don't really cut it for a garnish, but uh, I'll see what I can do. Definitely does not look as nice as fresh raspberries, but the drink's still gonna taste nice. So there you have a Russian spring punch. Cheers. Beautiful color, the raspberries ring, this nice, deep, vibrant red. Looks pretty tasty. Cheers. That's really nice, it's really refreshing. For most of you people out there from the States, uh, coming into summer or in the middle of summer, I'm not too sure, perfect for your weather. It's, it's getting a little bit cold here, but uh, still really nice nonetheless. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.